today I'm going to show you how to convert your car to speed density. Okay, so in this video I'm going to be talking about how to convert your math based car to speed density. It allows your car to run without the math sensor installed. Now the first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to get a speed density kit. For my particular car, it's a, it's a second generation Mitsubishi Eclipse. I ordered mine from ECM Tuning. Now they have a GM style map sensor that most people with a first generation Eclipse would use um, but since mine is a second generation with a 7 bolt head I'll be using this one that's what fits my intake manifold that comes with a Omni 4 bar map sensor and a GM intake air temperature sensor this is a throttle body elbow that I took off of a separate engine and had it welded up. Um, the kit comes with uh, bungs to be welded to your throttle body elbow and I had a buddy weld this up for me. Side note, if you don't have a welder um, or if you don't know anyone with a welder, you can buy your own throttle body elbow from STM Tuned. They make their own stainless steel throttle body elbows and you can add your intake air temperature bung and it's really nice quality uh, might be better than stock but that's what I have so that's what I'm gonna use this here is a speed density harness that I got from ECM tuning it comes with the, the plug for the intake air temperature sensor and uh, the GM style um, map sensor so I won't be using that I'll be using the factory harness for that so that I don't need to worry about this now let's get to the install. It's two 8mm um, bolts on this. You just take it off, place it, done. This is four 12mm bolts and that's on the throttle body. You take that off and it's in. And then you just connect it to the harness. Got that off, put this new one in its place. Just like reverse. And there it is. Got this tightened up. Uh, now to install the harness. Okay, now this is very easy. This side will go into the math plug, and this side will go into the temperature sensor. That's just this. Alright, now once that's all installed, you're going to open up ECM Link. Make sure that your keys are on. Go ahead and hit connect. Let's try that again. to your settings go to ECU inputs and this is the intake temp sensor is set to GM IAT go ahead and save pin assignments click OK captured values and then we're gonna just Go to our GM8 IAT, add that to our list of captured values, and you can run a day log. Go to displayed values, and you can log your GM IAT. It's gonna be right there. You can see it's at 95 degrees. Hands in the way. 95 degrees, that's my intake air current moment. You go back to our settings real quick. Go ahead into your math comp speed density. Click save to ECU. Speed density tab. 
Good to go. And let's give the car a start. Okay. So you can see that the intake air temperature sensor is working. It's reading our air temp. Our Omni 4 bar map sensor is working. And we're on speed density. Simple as that. Track the data log. And you can see it cycle through. My LC2 wideband is actually burned out right now, so we won't be able to do any tuning on that. But um, other than that, that's how you convert to speed density. Thank you for watching the video if you watched it. And hopefully you learned something.